हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस जीरो ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स लेट्स बिगेन व्हाट इज जीरो ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस द स्टेटमेंट it states that if two thermodynamic systems let two thermodynamic system as सिस्टम्स आर ए एंड बी आर टू थर्मोडाइनमिक सिस्टम्स रेस्पेक्टिवली सॉरी थर्मोडाइनमिक सिस्टम्स ए एंड बी सेपरेटली इन थर्मल इक्विब्रियम उथ ए थार्ड सिस्टम सी ए थार्ड सिस्टम सी देन व्हाट एपन they are in thermal equilibrium with each other then they are in thermal equilibrium thermal equilibrium with each other okay what is that of statement it states that if two thermodynamic systems a and b separately in thermal equilibrium with third system c then they are in thermal equilibrium with each other means a and b are thermal equilibrium with each other first a is thermal equilibrium with c b is thermal equilibrium with c finally we found a and b are thermal equilibrium with each other क्वेश्चन एरेजेस व्हाट इज थर्मल इक्विलिब्रियम व्हाट इज थर्मल इक्विलिब्रियम व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ थर्मल इक्विलिब्रियम हाउ वी डिफाइन व्हाट इज थर्मल इक्विलिब्रियम ए सिस्टम इज सेट टू बी इन थर्मल इक्विलिब्रियम इफ ऑल पार्ट्स ऑफ द सिस्टम आर एट द सेम टेंपरेचर एंड आइडेंटिकल विद दैट ऑफ सराउंडिंग्स सो What is thermal equilibrium? Thermal equilibrium we define. What is thermal equilibrium? A system is said to be thermal equilibrium. if what is the what is that of condition if all the parts of the system all the parts of the system are at the same temperature are at the same temperature and they are identical with that of surroundings and identical with that of surroundings then we say 
that uh, system is said to be as thermal equilibrium. This is the zeroth law of thermodynamics. Now, we elaborately discuss it, how it valid. Let me consider the system as, let me consider A, B and C are three thermodynamic systems. Took the figure like this. This is the thermodynamic system. The contents A, B, C. These are the systems. This is the system A. This is the thermodynamic system. Thermodynamic system B. Thermodynamic system C. A, B, C are three thermodynamic systems. Let me take T of A, temperature of A. T A that is the temperature of thermodynamic system A thermodynamic system A let similarly let T of B that is the temperature of thermodynamic system B and the T of C let that is the temperature of thermodynamic system C. Here A and B are separated by an adiabatic wall. That wall that is the adiabatic adiabatic wall that wall is known as the adiabatic well. What is adiabatic well? Means that wall does not allow the exchange of heat in between these two. Throughout the wall, heat does not exchange. So, adiabatic well means wall does not allow exchange of heat exchange of heat that wall does not allow the exchange of heat means a and b the thermodynamic system a and b separated by the adiabatic wall means there will be no such exchange of heat in between these two systems that systems are a and b Again, the system C is in contact with both the system A and B, means A is contacted with C, similarly B is contacted with C and that wall throughout which these two systems are contacted with C, that wall is basically known as the diathermic wall that is diathermic wall. Wh what is the meaning of diathermic means a wall diathermic is a wall which allows the flow of heat which allows heat to flow. That is the diathermic wall means throughout this wall heat exchange in between these systems. So, what happened here? Since the system A 
and C are in thermal equilibrium. There will be the exchange of heat in between A and C as di diathermic wall exists in between these two. So, A and C are thermal equilibrium with each other. Their temperature is same. Therefore, therefore, temperature at A that is the temperature of thermodynamic system A is same at the temperature of the thermodynamic system C. That is equation 1. How it caused? Since A and C are in thermal equilibrium, since A and C are in thermal equilibrium, thermal equilibrium. Okay. Again, system B and C are in thermal equilibrium since there will be the diathermic wall in between these two systems means heat exchanges in between B and C. So, temperature of thermodynamic system B is same as that of temperature of thermodynamic system C. Why? Since B and C are in thermal equilibrium. from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 what we have ta is same as tb ta temperature of thermodynamic system a is same as that of temperature at thermodynamic system b hence both the system a and b hence what we conclude from that of equation hence from that of equation we concluded that both the system both the systems means system A and system B are also in thermal equilibrium are also in thermal equilibrium. Okay. From this analysis, what we get? Hence, the temperature is the property which determines whether a system is in thermal equilibrium with another system or not. Basically, on the parameters of temperature, we conclude that either that system is thermal equilibrium or not. If uh, two systems uh, A and B are bring in thermal contact and uh, heat flows from system A to system B, then the system A is at higher temperature than that of system B. Since the system A is at higher temperature than that of system B, that means heat flows from system A to system B. From this analysis, what we get? we conclude what is temperature what is temperature temperature defines temperature defines the thermal state the thermal state of the system which determines which determines the direction of flow of heat the direction of flow of heat from one system to another from one system to another to 
to another system when they are in thermal contact when they are in thermal contact they are in thermal contact okay this is the point how the temperature looks like then what is the basic difference between temperature and heat basically that uh, comes to your mind that the temperature is same as that of heat but actually that not temperature is the factor through which heat transforms from one body to another so how we define the heat so the heat can be defined as this is the flow of energy heat is the flow of energy that is the definition of this is the definition of temperature this is the definition of temperature then we define the temperature what is heat this is the flow of uh, energy this is the flow of energy flow of energy from one body from one body body in the sense that is the thermodynamic system from one body to another body to another body again an, an another body is at uh, that of thermodynamic system due to how heat is flown why heat flows due to difference of temperature due to the difference of difference of temperature between them between them is called heat okay that is heat that is temperature that is heat means temperature is the internal factor whereas the heat is the external factor due to temperature heat flows from one body to another that is the basic concept regarding transformation of heat in between the thermodynamic bodies or in between the thermodynamic systems so with the help of this video lecture we understand what is uh, zeroth law of thermodynamics means how thermo thermal equilibrium is carried out with the help of this law we understand the concept of thermal equilibrium so we define what is thermal equilibrium and how that takes place considering the examples of systems and we analyze how heat transform transforms from one body to another definition towards uh, temperature and uh, heat a basic idea regarding temperature and heat so with this useful and infinite notes let me wind up this session thank you